हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम शास्त्रीय काल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टूडे वी गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक सुफियानी दम का मुर्ख वी गोइंग टू मेक ए नाइस पेस्ट ऑफ पॉपी सीड चिरोजी आलमंड एंड कोकोनट यू नो फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू ड्राई रोज द पॉपी सीड आफ्टर ड्राई रोस्टिंग द पॉपी सीड्स मेक दिस इन टू पाउडर बिकॉज वंस यू हैड द कोकोनट पाउडर दिस पॉपी सीड इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ग्राइंड नाउ टेक सम चिरोजी almonds and roast them till they also get nice aroma then add coconut powder this is a homemade coconut powder and roast them for another 1 minute on a slow flame put all of this along with this poppy seed powder and add little water and make into a fine paste for this we going to take chicken take this uh, chicken pieces you can make it slightly bigger pieces than this and in this we going to add potatoes i am going to add just three potatoes look at this smaller potatoes is better and in this we going to add yogurt that's curd one cup of yogurt add ginger garlic paste green chili paste white pepper powder whole garam masala like uh, cinnamon sticks cloves cardamom and shai jeera in this we going to add some salt chopped mint and chopped coriander and we going to add some brown onion okay just fried onion add some lime juice and we going to add the paste of this poppy seed chironji almonds and coconut just mix all of this sufiani means white that's why we did not add a red chili powder nor black pepper powder we added white pepper powder just so that this comes nice and white this should be good wow and after you mix all the masala into this chicken just add oil but do not add too much oil because the chicken will also you know have some fat when you cook in a dum method specially even the fat from the chicken will uh, melt and float in the curry when this is done and today we are going to create the dum using a pressure cooker the other day when i did uh, dum ka murkh i used the dose to seal the uh, vessel but today i am going to use a pressure cooker just put the lid on now the chicken is very tender i put in the brine so i don't need to marinate it or anything but if you have not put the chicken in brine you can add all of this masala and let it rest for at least 2 hours or 3 hours in a refrigerator by that time the chicken will become nice and tender you do not want this whistle to blow if the whistle blows that means you put too much heat so right from the starting itself you going to put it on a very slow flame the slowest possible flame on your stove like i have got three burners here i'm going to put it on the smallest burner in the smallest flame possible and i'm going to cook this for almost 40 minutes you know after cooking it for almost uh, uh, 30 40 minutes on a very slow flame not a single whistle has come from this pressure cooker if you think your flame is too high you can put a tawa and let this uh, chicken cook on a very slow steam okay now you know look at this nice thick gravy you know some people make a mistake of adding too much water or anything in this then it will become too watery but do not add any more water the moisture from the curd as well as the chicken itself is good enough and uh, these uh, all the spices will get cooked and also you can see how very thin layer of uh, oil is floating here each piece of this chicken is so tenderly cooked wow look at this wow on a slow method of cooking the chicken will become nice and juicy this is so super tasty so nice silky wow perfect perfect this is got all the richness that i want for my dum ka murkh and wow what rich and fantastic flavors that uh, this give and wow do not forget vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you oh ha 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 daba ke khana padega daba ke khana padega ye aloo bhi kitna hmm